Hello guys, welcome to Anime TMJ Talks. Today we are going to talk about what if Naruto had the Nine Tails power from the childhood. I am not talking that he might have gotten that KCM mode from the childhood, but if Kurama was cooperative with Naruto instead of using Naruto, Kurama if he had helped Naruto, what things might have had happened? Today in this video we are going to talk about that. With that thing that might have happened is that Naruto had become the most powerful shinobi ever existed in his from his childhood. If we talk about Naruto's powers, I don't think that he might be able to control fully the KCM mode, but I believe that he might have at least been able to use that QB influence mode from the strat. Or at least even the one tail cloak might have been a easy task for Naruto. So I think that if that might have had happened instead of Sasuke, Naruto would have been the strongest shinobi during their childhood. As we could see that how much powerful QB influence was. So we can take a look that how much powerful Naruto had been. So Naruto might have become the most powerful instead of Sasuke in the whole class and he might have gotten a lot of attention from people. And with that the second thing that might have happened is no shadow clone for Naruto. We know that Naruto did learn the multi shadow clone jutsu when he was not able to do anything during his admission test. But this time I don't think that anyhow with the Kurama's power Naruto might not have succeeded to become a genin. So I think that Mizuki might not have been able to give Naruto that greediness for using multi shadow clone jutsu and with that Naruto would not also have had stolen the forbidden jutsu's scroll and that might not have happened and Naruto might not have learned the multi shadow clone jutsu and with that the third thing that will happen is better rivalry between Sasuke and Naruto. We know that from the beginning Naruto and Sasuke were not rivals. Only Naruto was taking Sasuke as a rival whereas Sasuke was trying to stop Naruto as much as possible and he did not accept Naruto as his rival. But this time I think that the all the things would have been opposite. This time Sasuke might have had approached Naruto for his rivalry and as far as I think Naruto would not have hesitated taking so much powerful guy and a Uchiha man for his rivalry. And also with that we might have seen better rivalry and the rivalry between Sasuke and Naruto more though this might not have changed the results in the valley of the end as Sasuke and have escaped. And with that the fourth thing that might have happened is Naruto would have learned the Rasengan easily and with only one hand. As far as we know that Naruto learned the Rasengan using his multi shadow clone Jutsu. But this time having no multi shadow clone Jutsu and also Kurama with him, Naruto might have learned using the whole Rasen gun with only his one hand without using his multi shadow clone Jutsu. And as he had Kurama with him, I don't think that anyhow Naruto would have suffered for using the Rasen gun with only one hand and also without any multi shadow clone Jutsu. Naruto would have had easily run the Sengan and the next thing that might have happened is Niji versus Naruto fight would not look like how it used to look. We know that Naruto and Neji had a very good fight which a lot of fans enjoyed and as we talk about that Naruto had the Kurama powers but still this time I don't think that Naruto would have anyhow used that Kurama powers he might have only used that 
Kurama chakra of himself because Naruto might have wanted to change the bad mindset of Neji that everyone needs a destiny for becoming Hokage. So Naruto might have tried doing all of the things with only his power and also as far as I think if Naruto had the Ninetales chakra alert he might have anyhow summoned the Gamma Bunta and would have become really strong. Wrong. And the next thing that will happen is Naruto would have learned the Sage Mode plus Kurama Sage Mode a lot time ago. We know that this Kurama Chakra Mode plus Sage Mode was learned by Naruto during the war arc when they needed Senjutsu Chakra for defeating the pupil with Rinnegan. Then Naruto and Kurama was able to discover that during their fight with Pain they were able to use both the Sage Mode Chakra and the KCM Mode Chakra easily. But this time Naruto would have learned that after perfecting his Sage Mode. And with his his perfected sage mode Kurama also have helped Naruto in his sage mode because this time Kurana would not have disagreed with the um, Pav who is the frog who could help Naruto get more powerful sage mode and with that Naruto's sage mode would have become really strong. And the next and the biggest change that might have happened is Naruto versus Pain would have changed a lot for the fans. We know that Naruto had only the Sage Mode during fighting with the six parts of pain. But this time Naruto had his KCM Mode and his KCM 2 plus Sage Mode which he could use for defeating pain. This time the fight might not be so much as much enjoyable like the past. As far as we know that having the Sage Mode and the Six Paths of Pain Mode fighting each other, they had a really good and exciting fight that every fan were able to enjoy. But this time having Naruto KCM2 plus Sage Mode, this would have been a lot more powerful than usual and as far as I think, Naruto would have easily been able to defeat the Six Paths of Pain. And with this, as far as I think that the match between Naruto and the Pain would have been the most boring fights ever seen in Naruto because the fans would have already known that who was literally going to win. But still there might be still a hype that who was the real Pain. And with this, the next thing that would have changed would be one of the most biggest change ever seen. We know that Killer V was sent to Naruto because Naruto wanted to train the KCM mode. But as Killer V this time would not have been introduced because Kurama was already friends with Naruto from the start. That is why the only Jinjuriki who was shown a lot much more than other Jinjuriki except Naruto would not also have been introduced to us. And that would be one of the most bad things for all the fans because Killer B was also one of the most popular Jinjuriki ever existed and also we might not be able to understand that only Kurama was not the only Jinjuriki who was able to help his own Jinjuriki. I think that we might not also have known how the eight tails look like until Sasuke went there. And with this and with this the next thing that might have happened is Edo Nagato would have been controlled a lot more easier than usual. As far as we know that how much powerful Edo Nagato was that he was able to hold both the Naruto and the Killer B and we needed the power of Itachi for stopping pain. But this time having Naruto plus KCM mode, Nagato and Edo Nagato would have been controlled a lot more easier though Itachi is questionable because he was a lot more powerful in his Edo form because of like that he was getting a um, eternal monkey Sharingan in his Edo form. If we talk about that, Edo Nagato would have been easily getting beaten by Naruto because <coughs> Edo Nagato would have been controlled easily. 
but this time there might be a problem because this time Nagato did not know what problematic things he had done because as far as Naruto would have defeated Pen in the Edo form Nadu, Nagato would have gotten that how much wrong he was during his whole alive form and the Nagato would have been controlled after that. And the next thing that might have happened is Ovito's mask would have been revealed a lot time ago. As far as we know that Naruto with his KCM plus Sage mode was the one of the most powerful shinobis ever existed. So I think that Obito's mask would have been revealed a lot time ago when Naruto and Killer B was fighting against him. As far as we know that Obito might not be able to handle both Killer B and Naruto having Naruto so much power and as he had KCM2 mode from the start then Obito might have to show his real power so that he could anyhow stop both Naruto and the Killer B because as far as we know that without the powers of Rinnegan plus Mangikyu Sharingan of Obito, Obito would have standed zero chance against Naruto and Killer B both of them together. And as far as I think that this is the last chance that Naruto's and Kurama's good relation from his childhood could have done this type of changes, nothing more than that. And that is it for today's video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share it to your friends so they can also know if Naruto had the powers of Kurama from the start, what changes could have had happened. And so that is it for today. Bye.